All right, so I've been continuing work on the uh, solar panel charger battery bank thing. And through experimentation, I discovered that these supercapacitor panels won't really cooperate in parallel with each other. Um, something was uh, acting weird and they weren't charging properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the super caps from this board and add them in parallel to this board. And that will require just a little bit of work here. So we're going to go ahead and leap right into this process. I'm just going to start by me desoldering the old solder as much as I can. This is going to be kind of a messy, long process. But also kind of interesting. We gotta move as much of the excess solder as we can using the, the vacuum desoldering tool here. Making a little pile of Solder shavings here. Come on, there we go. Of course, I'll hold on to this uh, this board. Probably order some some more super caps to replace the ones on this one. But for now, I'm just trying to consolidate and make this whole circuit more efficient. <clears throat> so, there's the bulk of the solar removed from the super caps. So now the next thing we need to do is find the flux pen. There it is. We'll just dab a bunch of flux onto the joints, like so. And we'll grab the braid. And we'll go ahead and get some flux on it as well. Good solder braid has uh, flux powder impregnated into it, but liquid flux is always superior. And then we'll just. Uh, Let's try to remove the remaining solder from these joints. Come on. This might be a little bit more challenging than I originally thought. Oh, that's really warm. Come on. Of course, it's right on the end, so get a lot of leverage for removing the solder, but I just got to be patient and work on it. Come on. I might find myself having to increase the temperature of the iron here. Come on. Alright, so I'm gonna do something a little odd here. Flow a little bit of solder, fresh solder, onto it. And then use the braid to remove it. And that should draw the old solder with it. It did not. Dag nab it. <coughs> Well, you get the point of this process. I'm just going to jump cut real quick and come back to when I have them removed. 
All right, and we're back after that rather tedious process. Um, I have removed the capacitors from the old board, <coughs> and now my goal is to solder them into place sort of like this. So what I'm going to have to do <coughs> is... Uh, how, how exactly do I want to go about this? I mean, I could probably... Well, I can't do that because I already bent the leads around, so I need to do it like this. Alright, well, <clears throat> the first step is going to be trimming the leads on this down a little bit. I think that should be sufficient. My fingers are all sticky because my flux pen rather suddenly gushed a ton of flux all over the place. <coughs> Alright, so the next thing to do is flow some solder onto the leads of the capacitors. Like so. Carefully apply a little bit of flux, and then we're just going to go find out what the cats are doing. I'll be right back. Alright, so I broke up the cat fight and <clears throat> refined my technique a little bit, and now we'll just pick up where I left off. So. I went ahead and trimmed down the leads on these capacitors to make them a little bit more manageable, and then I touched them with a little bit of solder on those leads. Now I'm just putting on a little bit of flux. I've already applied flux here. And now I'm just going to flow these, or flow these capacitors on. Did I say LEDs at some point? I'm sure I did. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to flow these caps on. Hopefully. There we go. That's good enough. It's not pretty, but it doesn't have to be. Two more. And the last one. So the way I've now configured this, it'll take twice as long to charge, but it'll hold twice as much energy. Alright, so I think we can now shut off the soldering iron. Let's uh, flatten these caps out a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> Looks fairly good. Let's see if it'll charge up. So I'm just going to reach over here. Oof. Grab an appropriately sized power supply, or appropriate voltage power supply, and let's go ahead and see. about uh, charging these up. 
Should happen fairly quickly. Well, technically, ooh, boy, that's not a good sign. That was very, very bright. Why was that so bright? That's why that would be so bright. I did not uh, adequately solder one of these joints. So I have to be very careful now because this capacitor is charged. Uh, there, that should be... No, that's not slaughtering. Let's see. Come on, flow up. soldier in there because it's being difficult there we go again it's not pretty but it doesn't have to be all right let's try this again negative positive We should start seeing lights coming on here pretty much at any moment. We're at uh, 15 volts, 16 volts ish. All right, we got some activity on the overcharge protection circuits. Let's let them continue here. They're all charging up except for this one, which is the one that acted a little weird earlier. Let's uh, grab the multimeter and see what the voltage is across that particular capacitor. Uh, actually, turn the voltage just a little bit higher. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. Okay. My uh, power supply voltage sagged a little bit, so... It uh, wasn't charging the capacitors. Those are actually getting pretty warm, but uh, it's not a current regulated power supply. So that's a successful modding of those super caps. So these are now ready for installation into the solar battery bank project. Um, so I guess this will be part one of integrating the solar b battery bank, um, the supercapacitors. So if you haven't already, consider clicking here to subscribe. Right over here is a video that YouTube thinks you'll find interesting based on your watch habits. And right here will be, uh, I guess I'll put the prototypes playlist here. In the future, it'll be, of course, the solar panel pro playlist. And then, of course, right here will be a link to Patreon, which you can sign up there to help support projects like this. Thanks so much for joining me, and we'll see you next time.